but then I started to make mistakes and couldn't stay consistent anymore with my eating habits. I get so frustrated with myself and try to run off the bad food and I felt miserable afterwards. I'm currently running because I didn't eat so great today. I really don't like running. I didn't have the motivation to even try to be healthy because all I wanted was to lose weight. Weight loss, weight loss, weight loss. This mindset was a big mistake. So I'm moving out to college in a few days. Not my dream college. Actually, my last option because I ended up not getting admitted into the colleges of my choice. It is November 29th, 2017. Congratulations, you have submitted your application to the University of California. At this point, it is in God's hands whether I get into the college I want to get into. I know. No, now do next one. I don't have chance. You really didn't. <laughs> Nevertheless, positive mindset, my friends. Anyway, I have quite a few things on my list I have to complete before I leave, so let's get started. So I usually never go out to get my nails done, but my neighbor wanted to give me a goodbye gift. It's important to reward yourself when you accomplish little milestones in your glow up journey, but it doesn't always have to be food or costly activities. So right before I got my leg injury, I was extremely close to getting my aerial. I could do it off of a mat that was two inches thick. So I decided to go to an open gym once before I leave for college, but I should have realized that it would take more than one session to get my aerial. So this was my attempt, but the aerial will still be on my list of goals to achieve. <laughs> So Pilates with the Reformer has become my absolute favorite workout. It's one of those things where I get really excited before I even go, and that's a rare feeling for me towards a workout class. I remember going to this class at 24 Hour Fitness back in the summer, and I hated it so much. Literally during the workout, I was like, get me out of this class, I am so bored, and just looked around at all these ladies and thought, how are you guys enjoying this? Oh my gosh, we just had a big earthquake and like the whole place shook. Oh my gosh, my heart is racing. I thought it was it, because I live in California and there's like a lot of big earthquakes here. Is it gonna come back? No, oh my gosh, that was so big. And we're upstairs. Should we leave? Like, <laughs> oh my gosh. There are also workout classes I didn't like at first, but I grew to love it, like Orange Theory Fitness. So my advice to those who don't like working out, Try different workout classes or videos online. I'm going to link a Pilates and ballet YouTube video workout below that I really like. If you really can't find anything and just hate exercising, realize you only need to do 30 minutes a day, four to five times a week. That's really not a lot of your time and you will reap benefits from it. Another thing you can do is try just walking on your treadmill for 30 minutes and watch your favorite show. Netflix was a great incentive to get me on the treadmill because I would watch half of a movie and not let myself watch the last half. So I'm left on a cliffhanger and I'm like, man, I really want to get on the treadmill so I can find out what happens. <laughs> and lastly, mindset is key. Fake it till you make it. You can't just say, I love being here, but you have to really believe it. You have to be willing and open to accept this new mindset. Your workout is as good as your mindset. To me, exercising is a challenge, and challenges are what make life interesting. Overcoming them is what makes life meaningful. It's the feeling of consistently getting better at something, being able to run a little further than before, jump a little higher, get lower in your splits. When you start out, you probably won't like the workout because it's hard and painful, but stick with it and you will see progress. Progress equals motivation, happiness. Oh my gosh, people, I'm a different girl. Look at this. Ha, I have the line. I have the line. People, this is only three weeks. <laughs> Do 
Balayage is a technique for highlighting hair, but it's not highlights. It has a very gradual, natural looking effect, unlike just plain highlighting. Here's my hair before, and I'll be showing the result at the end. So I've never done anything to my hair and wanted to go to someone who would really take care of it, and I found Liel, who uses high quality ingredients and is really passionate about her job. She captured exactly what I wanted, so if you're from Southern California, I highly recommend you guys go to her. You can also follow her on Instagram for hair care tips and transformations and DM her with any hair questions you have. So I'm going to show you part of the balayage process and a trend that I've been loving which is curling your hair with a straightener to create that effortless beach wave. So Liel is going to show you how a professional does that. So I just want to say beforehand that this next part is not as edited and at this point in my life I still don't have a healthy relationship with food so you're gonna see me face this dilemma where it's like I want to enjoy the food I like but then I also want to lose weight and I just I'm, I have no idea what to do so I just end up overeating actually you know over time throughout the episodes you will finally see me develop this healthy relationship with food and the weight finally start to come off and one more thing in this episode and the next few episodes I'm on this medication called Accutane which is a very harsh medication for acne and it has really bad side effects so you'll see in these next few clips and the next few episodes that my eyes the shape of it actually changed a little bit because I wore my glasses so often and also it was very dry red and irritated so it just feel like it, my eyes were always swollen my face was actually swollen as well and the skin color would change sometimes and get really red and dry um, also my lips so just want to apologize in advance we out here at my sister's new house with her new baby oh, so Jojo's like saliva. feeding him his name is Jace oh he's spitting so. yeah and this is a Ooh. glimpse of their new house with the kitchen counter which I love and then my dad and uncle are setting up their new TV and there's little mochi look at her tails down and we're making pazookis oh my gosh I love pazookis and yes I'm gonna eat them because I want to enjoy life birthday boy with the goods boba and Taiwanese food oh what are you doing pass me one he's small piece he's looking <laughs> let's do um <laughs> It's gonna get for you. Oh, you're so kind, Bam. Jojo. Sorry, you're impatient, what are you? You said that was for me. Yeah, what are you doing? Just... No. <laughs> what the heck? Right, let's... Popcorn chicken, some ribs, rice, little meat, some type of vegetable, and another vegetable. It's so good. Like, dang. Jojo, Susu said she would make cinnamon rolls too. We're making that get off. Oh my gosh, it's so good and I legit don't feel comfortable. Olivia, stop, I'm using that for cookies. Oh gosh. So you guys, you guys, I'm really not sure what to do. Cause like I'm full, but it's like, I just, I want to eat it because I know it tastes good. Okay, I'm just going to have one bite and that's it. One bite only. This is a giant cookie. This is vanilla ice cream. Together, it makes a pazuki. Happy birthday, dear Nolan. What? What? Happy birthday to you. Where are them candles at? I took it for him. Mmm. I'm just gonna have one bite and that's it.
I'm packing up my room and I'm moving to college. It's just kind of hard to believe. As I packed up 18 years of my life into boxes, I felt a bittersweet feeling. As happy as I was to leave high school behind, I was also sad, like, you'll not only miss your family and friends, but you'll miss the person you are right now at this time and place because you'll never be this way ever again. Curious and foolish, and the only worries you had was getting a good grade on that test or that date you had with that boy. I kind of wanted to talk about what happened with this boy and how I feel about it, and I feel like I can't talk to boys and I suck. And before you know it, you'll be taking your last school test, closing your locker a final time, and then you're standing in an alphabetically ordered line in a cap and gown with people who you watched grow up and saying goodbye to my best friend since fourth grade that I've been seeing every day. It's like 9 p.m. I really have not done much of an update since this morning. And I've been procrastinating on this packing and I feel like it's because it's hard to face that I'm actually leaving and so when I don't pack everything up, it doesn't feel like I'm leaving. I mean, oh, geez, I act like I'm going far. I literally am like an hour away from home. <laughs> Little does Olivia know at this time that she will end up living on the opposite side of the world within the next six months, which is where I'm currently at, but I'm not going to tell you because I don't want to give you any spoilers and now I just feel like a creep because I'm just sitting in my room in this exotic location where no one knows where I am. It's a lot smaller than I imagined. So I said my goodbyes. Be prepared for the real world, my parents said. It is not going to be easy, they said. Especially since we are cutting you off. Here's grocery money for a week. Good luck. And that's the rough beginning to the next chapter of my life. If it's fine by you, I'll take the passenger seat. We can drive around to the sky and see me. Just see